Hey guys, so today I'm going to teach you guys how to deploy automatically a GitHub when you push to master. So sometimes whenever you're working on a project, you might be able, you might be wanting to push, right? Push and automatically deploy into the server. So that's what we'll go over right now. Uh, let me just log in to the, to the websites. We'll do it through DigitalOcean. And... Uh, We'll create a droplet there and also on GitHub, I'll create a repo and I'll show you how it deploys and how to set it up. So let me pause this video so we can go into there. So welcome back. And what we'll do is we're going to create a droplet. I'm going to create a droplet here in um, in DigitalOcean and I'm just going to create a lamp, uh, lamp uh, in instance. Uh, let's look for the lamp. Here we go. So I'm just going to create a basic uh, lamp San Francisco. Uh, let's generate a pass. So I'm going to create that password. I'll type in that password. Can end with the letter, with the symbol. All right. Perfect. Uh, lamp auto deploy. Deploy git. And let's create that droplet. So after we create that droplet, uh, we'll start seeing that IP that we need. And I'll show you guys what the next steps are. So, <coughs> so after that, we have our, our, uh, our instance deployed, uh, we're going to have an IP, right? So I'm just going to log into that instance and I'll show you guys the commands. I'm going to leave also within, um, within the YouTube uh, video, a link to the article so you guys can reference it. And if you guys need the commands, copy and paste, make it easier for you guys to uh, to get in there, right? Let's get that password. All right. So now we're in there. And the first thing we want to do is we want to update the instance. So I'll go update it. So next step, we'll want to install Git. And we'll run it with this command. I think I already have it installed in this instance. But you'll see that it'll install in your instance. And after that, let's just verify to make sure that we have the Git version installed correctly. So we have Git installed and looks looking good. So after that, uh, we want to create a directory for our SSH. And what I'll do is I'll make a directory. And then I'll give it the permissions so we can uh, have the WW user uh, access that folder. And after that, We'll start generating our our SSH key. Okay, no passphrase. Okay, it generated an SSH key, and then we'll grab that key that it gives us. We're gonna use it to paste it into um, into GitHub. So once we have our repo on GitHub, what we'll go is we'll go to settings. On deploy keys, we'll add that key that our server gave us to the GitHub so we are able to um, to deploy from private repositories and it makes it all easier for us to deploy. So you just paste it here. Um, and then... After that, we're going to go back to the server and we're going to use here the webhooks section so we can deploy. But uh, let's go back into um, let's go back into uh, our server and do the following commands. So we're able to clone these instances. So we'll go into that directory, which is here is HTML.
We're going to give it the permissions. I'm going to type this command too. And then we can clone our, um, our repo. Uh, I'll leave that code there too so you guys can clone it. But the first thing is I want to do is I want because when we run this clone, I'll show you guys right here. Um, let's do uh, git clone. And then we're going to deploy it to... It's going to give us that that directory is already exists and has information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that folder or delete the contents within that folder. So we're able to deploy. Okay. So welcome back. We're going to uh, deploy or clone our um, main branch into the folder. So what we'll do is we'll type this command and it'll clone our uh, repo into uh, that directory that we specified, which is bar www.html, right? So what we need to do is we need to set up a deploy file within the server so it fires and it runs the command. So uh, within the article, you'll see that PHP file that you need to do. Uh, you're just going to copy and paste it, and I'll show you where in GitHub to uh, put that URL for your, for your deployment. So the deployment... So the deployment file is uh, this where you will copy and paste into the server. Okay, so after I added that deploy file into GitHub, I need to make sure that we have it on the server. So what I'll do is I'll pull that from the master, uh, from the main. We'll pull it from the main. Okay, and we're up to date. So we have that PHP file in the server. So what we'll go is into GitHub and on our webhooks, we'll set up a new webhook to the payload, which is, it will be this one. This and we'll put our full, our file, which is deploy.php, push event active. All right, so we are good. We're gonna leave everything as is. And let's push something into our, our GitHub, right? We're gonna add a file called, um, say we're gonna add um, a new file called tutorial.html this is a tutorial let's save it and then what we'll do is we'll do the changes and you'll see how it auto deploys into the server so let me add this to github uh, I'm using the github uh, client so I'm going to commit it. And once we have there, it'll push that to GitHub, correct? And then if we go into our server and check the contents, we'll see that it added the tutorial HTML file. So this is how to set it up automatically so you guys don't have to worry about any uh, uploading files or or uh, mismatches on files, this is the easiest way that I can recommend for you guys to auto-deploy from GitHub into your DigitalOcean instance.